in the contest between reality and make-believe. Reality usually wins. Fear speak your piece. If this doesn't make you want to get up and call our state legislators, nothing ever will. I've got a friend who lives in Detroit. He owns a legal marijuana business there. He makes 30000 a month. See what is being done to us? They want us down. Something that is even worse. The DEA has heroin and marijuana in the same schedule. Schedule 1. Everyone knows that it's a lie to say that marijuana is as dangerous as heroin. I would like to tell a certain man that he better quit fooling around with married women or it's going to cost him dearly. Yes, people know what you're doing and who you are doing it with. And yes, you are fooling around with a married woman. So unless you want trouble, I would suggest you back away from who you are running with. To the owner of a certain house on Highway 7 in the Jeremiah area, will you please take the dog off the short leash and runner that is connected to the porch? He has no room to move or to get much exercise. You should give him or her to someone who will take care of the poor thing. I wish to take this opportunity to apologize to my family members, especially my children and their children, for being such a big Donald Trump supporter for two or three years there. After watching how he's acted these past few weeks, I can't believe I actually voted for this man. To my loving son and daughter, I hate to admit it, but you were right all along. This man has become a danger to our country. All you dummies better quit saying bad things about Mitch McConnell and President Trump. I want you to know they sent me a check for $1,200 and I love both of them and I'll vote for both of them and you better too. If you say anything else bad about him, I'm going to come up there and bust your nose. Now take that to the bank and see if you can cash it. Bye. All businesses should have a sign that reads, no mask, no shoes, no clothes, no service. You have to name all three, or some of these morons here in Kentucky would come in with shoes and mask, but otherwise stark naked. They are that stupid. And if you think it's infringing on your rights to have to wear a mask, then you must have voted for that racist, egotistical, arrogant, moron, butthead, temper tantrum throwing jackass in the White House. If you did, then good. Go drink some Clorox and shoot up with some disinfectant, you lunkhead. Science blew us to the moon. Religion blew us into the Twin Towers. President Trump says the dictator of North Korea is a friend of his. He says the dictator of China is a friend of his. And that Putin is a friend of his. What is wrong with this picture when all of Trump's closest friends are dictators? To Billy and Betty and Blackie. Billy, I still have your necktie. You know where I live if you want it back. Look me up one of these days. 7565 are the last numbers of my phone. Mr. President, you are giving funds to the meat markets and to help the dairy funds. But why doesn't the government go into canning meat? I remember back in the day when the government used to can some pretty good meat. You could give it away or charge us for it. I think the canned meat is a good idea. And cheese. Those blocks of cheese were mighty fine eaten. All I can say is that Donald Trump may go to hell, and he may take a lot of old people with him. The Republicans talk about doing away with the post office, but us country people need the post office. Today, my granddaughter, who lives next door to me, received a package from FedEx. They just left the package sitting out in the rain. Turns out, the Postal Service person found the package and delivered it to us because she didn't want it to get wet. 
That's the difference between the Postal Service and the FedEx. MAGA stands for Morons are Governing America. This is to the lady who was complaining about older men having things. Wait until you get old and you'll be wanting to have something too when you can afford it. We can still do our thing if we meet the right person. Quit complaining and do something about it. This is Clint. Send me a message and next week speak your piece. Tell me where to meet you and I'll see if I can help you find the answer to your problem. I would like to confess that as a younger boy in the 1980s, I had a sexual relationship with a teacher at Letcher School. It started off as a working relationship and ended up as a meeting in the bedroom relationship. She knows who I am. To a certain married woman on Pine Creek, when are you gonna come back out and play again? I'm about ready to play. Come on out and we'll have a wonderful day. I would like to say I will not be voting for Mitch McConnell in the coming election. I am 100% behind Amy McGrath. She'll do a much better job. And look at the time Mitch McConnell has been in office. He has done nothing for the coal miners. Wake up, Kentucky. Let's get rid of Mitch McConnell and vote for Amy McGrath.